Ladies and gentlemen, it's Design Slider. Wi-Fi is not connecting, Wi-Fi is missing, or any internet issue either in Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm showing seven methods to fix this, and I bet my extra solution at the end of this video may be your best. Go to your Windows Start Search. Search for Control Panel to get the Control Panel app. Network and Internet. Internet Options. At the top, go to the Advanced tab. Restore Advanced Settings and come down to Reset. In this box, click reset again, and I hope this fixes it for you. Press the Windows and R keys to get the run box. In the run box, type services.msc. OK. And the list of services on your device shows up. Scroll down to look for WLAN autoconfig. It should be running, and if yours is not running, don't worry, I will show you how to fix that. Right mouse click on it, and go to Properties. If yours is not running, you will see the Start button active for you to start it running. Then go to Startup Type, set it to Automatic, Apply, OK, and restart your computer. Press the Windows and R keys again to get the run box and type devmgmt.msc. OK. And expand the network adapters. Then look for any faulty adapters. In my case, I have just only one faulty adapter with this sign. Right mouse click on it and select Update Driver. We don't have internet, so we will not be able to select the first option here. So we go browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then select the driver that has Microsoft or any driver that is up to date. Next. When the installation is complete, restart your computer. Press the Windows and R keys again to get the run box and use this to go back to Device Manager. Expand the network adapters again. Then go to your Wi-Fi adapter or your internet adapter. Right mouse click on it and go to Properties. At the top, go to Power Management tab. Then uncheck this box. Turn it off. Then back to select the Wi-Fi or internet adapter again, right mouse click on it, then uninstall. And immediately you uninstall, go back to it again and right mouse click on it and you will see the option to install it again. When the install is complete, you restart your computer. Go to your Windows Start button, to Settings. Network and Internet, and Network Reset. If you are using Windows 11, you will see this under Advanced Network Settings. Reset now and restart. Go to Windows Start Search and type CMD to get the command prompt. Type this command carefully, or you can copy it from the description of this video. I already put it there for you. Press the Enter key when you're done. For the next command, type this text carefully, or you may copy it from the description of this video. I already put it there for you. Press the Enter key when you're done. Then scroll to the bottom end, and you will see Resetting OK. Restart the computer to complete this action.
Press the Windows and R keys again to get the run box. This time you're going to type msconfig. OK. Go to Services tab. Enable All. Apply. OK. And restart your computer. This is very simple, but it can do the magic. Press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds. Just hold it down still for 30 seconds, then turn on your device and see it works. Let me know in the comment which of all these works for you.